To me, this book is kind of an answer to a question a lot of people face or a problem that a lot of people face, and, and that's how to feed a family in a way that's healthy, simple, quick, and also a little bit creative as well. You, can't, you don't want to get stuck eating the same things again and again and again. We don't have a huge amount of time these days when we, when we are cooking, um, or at least we think we don't, but we've always got enough time to cook a good family meal. When I grew up, uh, my mum and my grandma, we would eat obviously a lot of Asian food, but a, a proper Asian meal needs to start with either three dishes or five dishes, always an odd number and never any less than three. But of course there are so many dishes all around the world and in Asian cuisine especially that are these kind of one pot dishes, one pot or one wok or one dish or one pan, things that can be put together to feed a family in a kind of a, a larger portion without needing to, to pull out 500 different implements and, and cook five or seven or nine different dishes. So many of the dishes in the book are just my favourites that we have at home all the time. Things that you can just sort of put all together very, very quickly and just leave it sitting there cooking while you play with the kids or watch TV or just take a 10, 15 minute relax that we otherwise might not have time for during the day. And that's the kind of cooking that I really like to do these days. It's not so much about trying to do something that's very difficult. I, I just, I want what other people want. I want a simple way to feed my family that's not gonna take me a huge amount of time. So I'm really happy with the book and the way that it's all come together and the way it's turning out. It's, it's exactly what I wanted it to be. You know, it's a solution for people who, who have the same problems that I have, I guess.